Nice, sir. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let first me present myself and my company. My name is Henrique Kini. I'm a hardware engineer and partner at Fi Innovations. Uh, Fi Innovations is a startup company situated in Brazil. The, our primary focus is develop software, either for small microcontrollers or for a processor based on ARM core and x86 core. And in most cases, we develop the hardware as well for our customer. Hardware should be specified by, by the customer. We don't have any off-the-shelf port, <laughs> but uh, the customer send us the, his specification and we choose the right processor and the peripherals. Uh, let's start here. Uh, the objective of this project was develop a proof of concept using Android system to implement an embedded system solution. The project was based on the quick start board from Freescale, and we had to add some features for such proof of concept. Oh, sorry. The idea was implement the hype solution using open components and using Android as an embedded system. Normally, Android is used by who need a human machine interface. And this is, was not our case. We need to use it as an operational system using Linux, for using it instead of Linux, for instance. Uh, this was the requirement we had to start the project, the development of a standalone embedded system, implementation of a graphical interface. This was, this was an optional uh, feature. The, the system should activate a two-way radio using PTT. Uh, the treatment for analog audio signal uh, we have to convert it in digital, and on the other side, the, we have to, to execute the opposite, convert them back from digital to analog to return it to the radio. Communication between the both sides use TCP IP. Uh, Bluetooth is used for other functions, not to communication between the, the both sides. Uh, system overview. Uh, radio over IP is a way to transmit and receive radio communications over the IP network. Uh, it's similar to VoIP, where we have a bidirectional traffic of out streams. For this case, a uh, half the plex communication, but uh, for a RIP, you have to add a command layer associated to, to, the, to the connection to control the direction of the stream using the push-to-talk button. Uh, why hype? Why we have to, we, you should use hype? Uh, this is the, the typical scenario to two-way radio system deployment. We have uh, to create a, a radio infrastructure, and it's necessary to deploy stations capable to cover the largest region as possible. To execute this, it is using the equipment that treat the, the radio signal and amplify it to reach the radios in the coverage area. 
would cover a large area. It could be necessary many of such equipment to regenerate the signal. So, uh, the ROIP is an alternative to repeater for extending the coverage and it can be used to link radios in different locations and the seat, country or continents as well, adding the embedded system instead the equipment. The, those, this block embedded system is our proof of concept. Uh, you can use it to drastically to, to reduce the, the deployment cost because uh, for every station you have uh, is a very expensive. Uh, remember that uh, it, there is no line of sight. If you, you have a, a region with no line of sight, you have to put the recover and repeater to retransmit the signal, even if you don't have a push talk uh, radios in that area. The system architecture <coughs> is, this is the architecture of our project. Our work was developed to, uh, sorry, our, our work was developed the embedded system block, as I said, uh, where we installed the, and customized the Android. The system is a point-to-point -point communication, as you can see. You have two sites, well, two nodes. From the two-way radio communicates with the central radios. The central radio is connected to our embedded system. This connection is responsible to send audio from the central radio to the embedded system and PTT signal. Uh, this is the, the way you... The embedded system apply audio codification to transform it in a compact audio stream and send it to the other node. Our embedded system is addressed and can only communication, communicate with one other embedded system. On the other side, the embedded system decodes the out stream and activate the PTT to send it to audio, the, to send the audio to the central radio. It's the, the opposite. Uh, the, our hardware. We use the platform from Freescale. The, the hardware we have used is the quick start board from the Freescale based on the IMX53 processor. The board is a complete embedded computer with ARM Cortex A8 processor. It has audio, video, storage capabilities. It also has many communication interface as WART, USB, and Ethernet. To connect the board to the central radio, we have to assemble the cable, the cable. And we also use the other boards to add features to the Freescale QSP. Actually, we have uh, used the evaluation kits for the GPRS modem and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth USB dongles. So, the deployment. Uh, it's uh, four steps to Android deployment. We have to take the Android build system provided by Freescale the arrangement of the hardware, the middleware customization, and the application software. For the first step, uh, you have to download the BSP provided by Freescale. Freescale indicates a new embedded website where you can do this. You can take the BSP. Uh, 
the BSP will automate, automatize all the process to, to you uh, for the free scale board. It will download the Android source code, apply the paths to the original Android, insert a, Lin a new Linux kernel that works for a free scale processor, and execute uh, the necessary adaptations for drives and libraries work correctly. Uh, the, second, the second step is related to hardware. It is necessary to customize the kernel provided by Freescale to apply their new hardware functionalities. For a Wi-Fi dongle, we was added kernel pads provided by the manufacturer. Uh, the same for the Bluetooth dongle. The PRS uses only a serial interface to communicate with the CPU, so it's kind of trivial to, to have only to set up the serial port. Uh, GPIO PMUX modification to, to support PTT activation and detection. Uh, the third step, uh, for some reason, to the point-to-point -point protocol was not working in the, in the board for, a distribution, for the distribution we take. We use a new version of the project to do it. We also use the, uh, the, the SPIX library for audio compaction. Uh, Pix is an open source library to implement vocoder function. The vocoder should know it, it compacts the, the raw audio data in up to six times the original size. It's very important to save bandwidth in this case because of the, the latency of the network. You can also use the other proprietary uh, library as, for example, the MB, MB plus 2, if you need more bandwidth save. <coughs> uh, the last step, well, we had to add uh, SDK support for the new features. We have added to Android. We used Java native interface to add the new future new functions, conversion of commands for the GPRS modding was done because GPRS modding used 80 commands uh, for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth dongles. It was not, no change for this application once they were detected automatically. It was added the GPIO functionalities for the PTT. And for the audio codec, it was mapped the functions using C language, low level development. Okay. The application software. The application software can be divided in two main environments, the, configura the configuration engine and communication engine. The configuration engine executes the network setup, establishes the point-to-point -point connections, gives the, <coughs> sorry, the operation log and operation status. While the communication engine manages the PTT, the audio compaction, and transmits the audio stream to the other nodes. Uh, it was implemented uh, a common line interface to set up the embedded system and to get the stats from it as well. No need for graphical interface, user interface. Uh, you can use only a console port to any terminal to get stats or set up the embedded system. The commands you can use are set up the local Ethernet interface and set up the remote to get log file and read the communication engine status. For this flow, you have a, you 
you have a prompt in the terminal. You type the command, the, the command is written, the, you have the, the response for it. Now, here I have the, those are the flow charts for the task of embedded system for the both sides of the connection. The transmission side, the, for the side, <coughs> uh, it is waiting for the PTT. Once the PTT is asserted, it receives the odd from the radio. The odd is then coded to be compacted and the string is sent to destination on the other node. For the receiver side, it is waiting for the audio stream from the transmission side. When it is detected, the audio is received and the code, the embedded system activates the PTT for the radio and sends the audio for it. These two ta tasks occur concurrently and once PTT is detected, in one side, the receiver for this side will ignore the, the audio that could be received by it. So if you have considerably latency in the network, this must be an issue. And the operator will have to treat this, waiting a bit more or to adapt to such delay. Considerations. So, our objective was use the Android in an embedded system and application where we normally should use the embedded Linux, and it had a good performance for it. The behavior of the software was excellent if we consider the fact that the Android system is bigger than Linux system. Android customization was challenge, but as much as difficult as deploying Linux. Maybe just a little bit more complex. Java was not a problem for performance. There are many possibilities to improve the, this concept. Add a graphical interface to control the hardware. Technically, you have unlimited possibilities to, of protocols to be used for many different functions to be added to the, the concept. I'd like to thank you for attending. And if you have questions, you feel free to, to ask me. Or maybe I, I will forward the question because I'm the, the hardware engineer, not the developer for this project. <coughs> Sorry, my presentation was very short because we have some issues with the the uh, one one customer of four, and we have to change it in less time our presentation. Yes. For this case, uh, we establish only point to point to for communicate. Uh, maybe you can have a broadcast function, but we do not try this. We only establish point-to-point -point connection. Please, if you have a technically, technically, uh, technical doubt or question, you can use the contact at innovations.com, and we will be glad to to answer you. Yes. 
Yes. Yes, this is uh, a good question. Uh, our, our objective, as I have said, was to, to do a proof of concept to demonstrate that Android is very, very feasible to, to be used as an embedded system. So, uh, I don't know to answer it for very deep issue regarding the implementation, but uh, this is what we, we have just to try to, to use Android in, as an embedded system, and maybe it can be easy to, to create more applications over the, the, the hardware we are using. A question? I appreciate your attention. Thank you.